Hi there, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Tony Hawk games on the PS4. This, to summarize, this is the only one you should know about because the other one isn't all that good. At least in comparison to this one it isn't all that good. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 is horrible. It's a bad game hidden in the clothes of an amazing franchise. The game has technical issues, poor level designs and above all, horrible controls. In a Pro Skater game, this is the most important part. This is the main gameplay element, doing tricks. If doing tricks is finicky or annoying, it's a game over for that game. This is the case here. You get a new button, the slam button, with which you can slam into the ground. I don't know who thought this would be a good idea, but it isn't. And after this bad idea came an even more horrible one. The grind button is the same as the slam button. If you want to chain combos, you'll often see yourself slamming into the ground instead of grinding because the AI didn't read your command correctly. And this is very anticlimactic. I mean, having a big combo and then slamming into the ground by accident doesn't feel that good. And you can't change the layout of the controls. The objectives in the game are horrible too. I mean, they seem varied at first but actually you have the same objectives and they aren't all that great. Not only that they are boring, but with the annoying controls, the game is more frustrating than fun. The game also has performance issues, hiccups, lags, glitches, from which the most prominent one is passing through objects. You also spring randomly into the air for no reason and above all, you get multiplayer. Where the problems get even worse. I mean, the game can't handle its frame rate in single player. Imagine how it is when the game has to load other players too. But I have to mention something. I've told you about the glitches because the gaming community seems fixed that this game is a glitchy mess. But I finished the game on 360 and played 2 hours and a half on the PS4 just to record for this review and I haven't stumbled upon any significant problems. And I'm usually the type of guy that glitches any game he touches. Also the soundtrack in the game isn't as cool as in previous iterations. Other than this, it's disappointing that you don't get a create a skater mode. You can only edit the ones you get. And you can edit the stat points, but stat points seem useless. There's not really a big difference between a maxed out character and a stock one. You also get the create the park option and overall the game is a shame compared to the other Tony Hawk games. The others are awesome and each brought something new. This game sticks to the formula of the first Pro Skater games and ends up being dull. It's very on paper but when you play it, it lacks that certain something that makes the other Pro Skater games exciting. I can't call it a bad game though, probably because I haven't stumbled upon the performance issues others have. But I can say about the game that it's dull. And the game and the main gameplay element, the skating, feels sloppy and way too simplistic compared to the other Tony Hawk games where you could chain big combos. The maps don't help either, they feel just slapped together without much thought put into them. It's more difficult to chain combos in this game. And not being able to do tricks the proper way is already a big step down. If it would have been a no-name skating game, it would have been decent. Okay, a little above mediocre. But as a Tony Hawk game, it's a shame. After Neversoft put so much effort into its franchise, Robomodo made something that feels like a cash grab. But Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 on the other hand is amazing. It's not a completely new game, it's a remake. But the graphics are so fresh compared to the original PS1 game that it looks and feels like a completely new game. Also you get more moves than in the first two Pro Skater games, for example you get sticker slaps and reverts and other moves you didn't have in the first two games. But this doesn't mean that you get all of the moves from all of the games. No, um, many moves are missing, like nata spins or other moves that you have there. But hey, the game 
has more moves than the original two games, which is already a great deal. You get the create a skater option like in Pro Skater 2, but here is where I want to comment something. While the character creation tool is superior to the game released in the year 2000, and it has, even for today's standards, plenty of clothing options, I wish they would have made more preset faces. No face looks even remotely like mine, and none looks original enough so that I can say that, yeah, this is my character and no player online has one similar like this. I wish they would have added the option to edit a skater's face with sliders for example. Also in board customization, it would have been nice to have the option to add a picture for the deck. Or at least have customization options like in racing games and put decals and vinyls on your board than being limited to the presets you get. But I have to admit that the presets you get look cool. And you get plenty of them. And you unlock them by doing challenges. But don't worry. This don't hinder the game to be amazing. I just wish that the game would have had such options. It would have made it even better. But don't worry. The gameplay is the star of the game. And they nailed it. The enhanced moves and enhanced controls you get on the PS4 makes it an awesome experience. If you're new to Tony Hawk, you will most probably get angry at the screen and feel like a loser for bailing so much in the beginning, but after you get used to the controls, you will see how much fun you have. The gameplay is structured like this. You have multiple levels, 8 in the first game and 10 in the second one. Here you get 2 minutes and a list of objectives. You can complete whatever objective you want in those 2 minutes. If, you, if you've completed one, it's checked out. And you can strike other objectives after you replay the level. By doing objectives, you unlock new stuff. And the objectives keep the gameplay fresh. You don't compete just for score. You have to find stuff and do stunts. Also, always remember to change your stats. I made the mistake of not changing them and thought that getting the 6 score is too difficult. I managed to get it, but it was difficult with stock stats. So remember to always change your stats. Also, in some stunts in the game you need to get your stats just right, so you're going to constantly play with your stats in the game. Also in the game, aside of this um, objective levels, you also get skating competitions where you compete for score and just try to be flashy. The game also has a create a park game option and split screen multiplayer. Until you get the classic multiplayer modes like trick attack, graffiti, slap and horse. And aside of the local multiplayer, you also get online multiplayer. Overall, the game is amazing. Vicarious Vision and Neversoft should always be making this franchise. Because when they didn't, look what happened. After enjoying this game so much, I wish Vicarious Vision would remake the other Pro Skater games and even the rest of the Tony Hawk games, ranging from Underground to Project 8. And even more, why not a new Tony Hawk game, a Pro Skater 6 or any other Tony Hawk game that is new to cleanse the shame Pro Skater 5 brought on the franchise. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.